I'm here at Schnucks now, which is a local grocery store. So I'm going to grab a little thing of green onions and some cilantro. I always smell it. If you can't smell it, it's not going to be strong enough, in my opinion. Now these are not in my recipe, but I'm going to grab the English cucumbers because they are on sale and I always need them. I'm working on a recipe that I got from one of my viewers, her name's Brenda, and she's on my Facebook group and she put a picture of the most delicious looking taco bake, I think she called it. So anyway, I'm going to try to lighten it up a little bit and see how that goes. But while I'm doing that, I am going to splurge and I am having two tablespoons of this butterscotch latte. You guys know I drink black coffee, so this is a treat like no other for me. I just tasted it. All I can say is absolutely delicious creamy butterscotch caramel tasting definitely worth the three points that I'm about to burn but let me show you this here's what I've been doing all day today well really this week so I keep this nearby let me show you yesterday too so as long as I'm really cognizant of what I'm eating and I see it, I tend to make better choices. So here's all the things I've had today. I had a really big breakfast, and then I had a built Bar. So the, this really held me over, but of course then I got hungry, and you guys know right here, downfall for me. So I'm gonna have some coffee. Let's see where I am, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm gonna be at 19 before dinner. So I'm going to have to be really strict. I might use a few weeklies tonight. Brenda's recipe called for ground turkey. But I am not really a ground turkey fan, and I don't want to take the points in ground beef. So what I'm going to do, I just poured two tablespoons of chili seasoning over the top of this lean turkey tenderloin. This is zero points. So I'm gonna bake this and I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna cut it up really small, dice it up when it's done, instead of doing the ground turkey. I don't know, lately it's been something about the texture of ground beef, I don't know why. This comes with two plain turkey tenderloins. So since I'm only gonna use one, I put the other one in a bag over here with some salt and pepper, and I'm going to put some garlic powder over it, as well as some crushed rosemary and thyme. And then I'll just mark that here and put it in the freezer so that I'll have it for another night. Brenda's recipe also calls for a half a cup of heavy cream. Now that is where I'm really gonna to try to scale it back. That is 20 points. So what I'm gonna to try to substitute, and it's either gonna work or it's gonna ruin the recipe, we shall see, is I'm gonna do a half a cup of low-fat buttermilk and a half a cup of the salsa con queso. So that will bring it down less than half if it works, we'll see. So I've just got that sitting over here waiting for its turn to get kind of mixed together and I have the eggs blended up as well. The original recipe called for green onions, so I have those chopped up and tucked under what I added to it, which is a little bit of cilantro, because I really, really like cilantro. I know not everyone does, but if you do, feel free to add it in. We'll see how that works. And then also I chopped up a little bit of colored peppers, because I love those for sweetness as well. So we're gonna wait for the turkey to finish, cool a little bit. Now normally I do my turkey tenderloin for about 40 to 45 minutes. I'm gonna do this one for 25 to 30, 
because the bake itself is going to bake longer when we put all these ingredients together. So I don't want to run the risk that the turkey overcooks. I've got the additional ingredients mixed in here with the eggs. And I'm going to go ahead and heat up just a little bit this cheese and buttermilk. And then I'll just pour the egg mixture in, but I'll kind of do it in such a way, you know, sort of tempered little by little so we don't wind up with scrambled eggs. So I'm going to get that mixed through. Just so you guys can see, this is the turkey chopped up. You can kind of tell it's pretty much just about cooked all the way through. It's just about 10 degrees under, so it should work perfectly fine. So I'm going to mix all the ingredients together in the casserole dish, and then I'm going to sprinkle one more tablespoon of my Mexican seasoning and mix that through as well. And then I'm going to pop it in the oven at 350 with tin foil over the top. Here's what it looks like right before it goes in the oven. So I'm going to put some tin foil over that and get it baking. And it looks like the original recipe says it should go for about 30 to 35 minutes. It is done and out of the oven. We wound up with six servings, one point each. I have a little bit of cheese over the top and some Greek nonfat yogurt and also some Ortega hot sauce. This baked for 40 minutes covered and it is, in my opinion, absolutely delicious. Now, I don't know what the original tasted like, probably really good, but this as a light, well, you know, Brenda's version was light too, either three or four points. But to knock it down even lower, this is pretty doggone good. So I think I'm going to try her version next and see what I think. But what a delicious recipe. Hers or this lower point version, both of them freestyle friendly, delicious.